guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 1 of D4DJ Petite Mix. Okay, so you know how last week I had talked in the finale saying that I was either going to wait until the show was completely over and do probably, I'm guessing it's going to be 13 episodes for this short series, or I was going to do it weekly just to get it all out. Well, yeah, your girl kind of changed her mind between last week and tonight, uh, not even tonight, today when I woke up and I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and do it, even though the episode was already on YouTube, but, you know, YouTube and their subtitles, which is BS, and so I was thinking the site that I normally go on wasn't going to have it, and then I checked, and then they did. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do with this. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one. Go. One thing that I am hoping for this is that everybody appears. <laughs> oh, look at Kyoko! Even though it's her bag, it's Shiribu! Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, ma? <laughs> huh? uh. Are we going to smash? I mean, because it seems like she's been invited to Smash Bros. Uh, you four fast. Well, of course she knows everything about DJ. What? <laughs> I don't wait. Well, it's interesting that it happens every a hundred years, but <laughs> okay. Huh? in the way I would literally screenshot that hopefully they get a creditless version okay so this is good I, I already love it I love the fact that everybody oh, is being featured because that was my little thing that I had to pick with about you know season one even though your girl was happy at the last episode because well no there was a couple episodes where I was I was like extremely happy um, the one episode where Rondo officially made their first appearance, and then it was, like, between episode 8, 9, and 10 when Mermaid made their appearance, when, um, Ray was on her tablet and everything, and then finally having Lyrical Lily, you know, officially make their first appearance at the end credits, because it was something I think a lot of us really wanted, because even though, um, season 1 was predominantly... Peaky Peaky, Happy Around, and Fronton Maiden heavy focused on, of course, like, you're still wondering, because it's very, it, it's like how I felt, um, well, no, it's like how my friend, who's currently into this series, and also is currently getting into Bandity at the same time, and I told them to go ahead and watch season one, to watch season one, and experience season one and such, even though 
their favorite band is um, Pastel Palettes. And I told him that Pastel Palettes doesn't really show up until like season two. As like season one is very uh, popping party happy. That is like their origin story because by the time season two starts you already have every single band except Roz. So at first he was like a little hesitant because he was like well why don't I just go ahead and skip season one and just go to season two. And I was like no 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 no. I was like just how you know the first season D4DJ is important towards Fontaine Maiden, um, Peaky Peaky and that Happy Around. This is very important to Popping Party's um, origin story because you're getting to see them come together. And I mean, also with this show, yeah, I mean, it's really nice to see these girls come together. Heck, I mean, I love the fact that everybody was featured in the first episode of this petite mix. It's good. And I love that. You're off to a strong start. Thank you. I enjoy that. And I hope like, whenever we get season two, we also get another strong start. I think that's gonna be really good. Honestly, I don't really know what in the world to really expect with this series. I know it's going to be really random, just very similar to um Bendity uh chibi version that they had between um I think what, not only season one and season two, or was it season two and season three? And then something also tells me because you know how like uh Pastel Palettes got their own little like spinoff where it was like Pastel Life. Somebody out of these units is possibly going to get that. My money is a little bit on right now because every unit is popular. But we don't really know as of right now who's the popular, the most popular unit out of all of these units. So I feel like by the anniversary, um, by the end of October, that's officially where we're going to get like our first like ish in saying okay um either happy around is popular even fall to maiden peaky peaky mermaid rondo um lyrical lily like something tells me it's gonna be like a three or four way tie between rondo mermaid um fontan and maybe peaky peaky i don't know i mean because like <laughs> literally every say you there's a lot there's a lot of more say you's from bendity in every other group except mermaid mermaid i barely really I, I only know one of the girls who it's the girl who plays rika she was in um oh my god akb um akb 48 so she's the only one that i know the other three i know the girl who plays dahlia she has a youtube channel so I'm kind of learning more information about her and Ish. But honestly, really, who knows? I hope that by October, the end of October this year, everybody's popular. Everybody's music is a distinct sound. It's not bad. It's good. I could sit and listen to any one of their songs for like hours on hours on hours. But I mean, yeah, honestly, I really can't wait to see what the hell is going to happen with this show. What the things that they're going to do in here. Um, I know they, they like, I think their Twitter page posted some previews to episode two. And I'm like, I think I was looking at it and I was like trying to get context clues, but I was like, I have no idea what the heck is happening. But we ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of D4DJ Petite Mix. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode two. Bye, guys.